the case. These young guys, they make breakthroughs at some point.
So it's absolutely amazing and um, it's, it's also nice to see how, how pumped everybody is to, to win this. So we're getting set for your debut in the Labour Cup, John. Uh, what are your thoughts going into walking out for the opening ceremonies? The crowd is packed, they're real vocal, so the atmosphere is going to be amazing. As for the match goes with, with Dominic, it's going to be an interesting one. I don't think I've played him that much, just one time, and he, he beat me on a clay court. So it's going to be a different matchup this time, though. And in terms of the conditions, how well do you think the court here suits your game? And what are going to be the keys to victory for you today? Yeah, I think the court is fine. It's a little bit on the slow side, which I, which I actually like. I actually prefer that. I think Dominic's pretty good on the slow court as well. So I think uh, we both like the court. So I think it's just going to come down to whoever plays better today is, is going to win. It's uh, pretty much as simple as that. Best of luck. Thanks, Jason. And I think that, you know, they both proved out there, Marin and Francis, that they were here to play, here to win. Uh, the way that Borg and McEnroe were getting up off the benches, you know, there's a lot of passion there. And, and I think the quality of tennis was very high. I have to say, McEnroe was up the bench a lot more than Bjorn Borg. He looked very, very relaxed out there. Uh, so uh, that's a shot off the center court. Now let's have a look at the match statistics as well, Mark. There wasn't much in between the players. Not at all. You know, six and six. I know that everybody said that sort of Team Europe is overwhelming favorite, but this is a two-horse race. The biggest thing today, really, for Francis, as you can see, was the first serve percentage down at 50%. If you're going to give a guy like Marin, who returns as aggressively as he does that many looks at your second serve, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. And, and, uh, and he did well, I thought, actually, to defend his serve as often as he did in the match. What I really liked about Marin Cilic today, he really worked his forehead once again. Sometimes, you know, he gets a little bit defensive. He can't do that. So I, I think that's what he's done well. Absolutely. You know, I think that, you know, he, he was aggressive when he needed to be. Um, I thought he came into the net at the, you know, when he could. He wasn't always as successful around the net as perhaps he would have liked to have been. But, you know, he minimized his errors. I think it was Rod Labour said, you don't need to win all the points. You need to win the right, the right ones. And obviously, Chilich did that today. What happened to Francis TFO after he lost the first set? He changed something. He was up 4-1. How did he let that slip away? Uh, he, he missed a couple of forehands, to be honest. And, I mean, that was really crucial to him, that game. And he was obviously up at 4 15, looking good. He rolled the dice on the second serve. That didn't come off. He then went with a couple of big forehands. And, you know, he was a little bit unfortunate. At that stage, as you say, he had the momentum. And really, Team World needed the momentum out of the blocks here. We know how strong Team Europe is. And I think that that is something that can manifest itself in a huge way for, for Team World. But it didn't happen for them. And obviously, Cilic is going to be absolutely thrilled that he's got his team up and running as uh, easily as he ended up doing in that second set breaker. Well, and um, this is uh, the arena there. Obviously, a lot of people are probably getting some drinks and something to eat, uh, and they're getting ready for the next match uh, coming up uh, with John Isner and uh, Dominic Team. Lots of autographs. This is the place to be to get autographs, Mark. Yeah. Well, next to you, actually. Have you, you haven't given me yours yet, so I went, but, <laughs> but maybe I'll get that later on. But uh, it's certainly a nice little area, isn't it, for the for the fans to be able to drop over there and try and get it from some of the for both teams. Okay, so uh, the score of that first match uh, was a seven-six, seven-six, a very close two tiebreakers. Uh, that's exactly what we wanted to see. Very exciting, and the sta the current standings at the moment. So it's one and nil for Team Europe. You know what? It's always important to get that first point. I thought it was huge today for, for Team Europe. No, ma no matter who they've got on their team, we see Roger Federer. Um, you know, the, the the bottom line is is that it's obviously huge. So uh, they were really rocking out there today, Chilich and uh, TFO. Let's just remind ourselves how Chilich went through in those two, two sets. It's time for a new world order. Europe is a 
Minecraft take on the world. Game on. Game on. Game on. Rod's legend lives on. T equals O. Let's go. Okay, you're done. Oh, you're not making it to the body. Oh, 
。要上传你照片了又。你看，他说，返回，返回，直接返回，这个是死跟那个没有关系。这个返回不了啊。Ready to walk up back to the Emirates Arena, T World 